And here it is. It's time for another two-minute tech tip. Hi, I'm Bob Rubart with the Oracle Technology Network, taking you on another two-minute journey inside the brain of a member of the Oracle community. In this episode, the brain in question belongs to Oracle Ace Associate Christian Berg. Christian is the owner of Dimensionality GmbH, a business intelligence consultancy located in Switzerland. OTN chased Christian down at the UK OUG Tech 15 conference in Birmingham, England. So let's see what he can deliver in his two minutes. And the clock starts now. I'm going to quickly talk about two minutes, the worst sins you can commit in Oracle BI EE development which is basically a subtract, uh, subset of my talk that I'm going to do tomorrow here at UK OUG. And first up, first cardinal sin that you can commit in OBI development is data type conversion in joins. Might seem like nothing, but I've seen a lot of developments just failing completely on the performance side because all joins had data type conversion between, for example, strings and calendars just to, to tie in a custom date dimension, which just meant goodbye any indexing that you have set up, hello full table scan. Second point is a real favorite of mine that's using multi-fact models, but with non conformed dimensionality. This is something that comes up every second day basically on Oracle TechNet and on the different forums for Oracle BI. How do we use multi-star queries with non-conformed dimensionality? Well, it all comes down to logical table sources and content levels. If you don't set them up correctly, you're lost, you're dead, it will never work. Third point, tie into the second one, is not creating dimensional hierarchies for your dimensions in the OBIE repository. A lot of things doing this, a lot of people doing this because it is allowed by the RPD, but basically you're turning off 50% of the whole functionality of the RPD. Fourth point, very quickly, not using usage tracking at all. If you don't use usage tracking, you have no clue which part of your reports are being used, how long they take, etc., etc. Very last point, turning on caching to solve your performance issues. The absolute killer. Was that good for you? Let us know and stay tuned. <laughs>